Good afternoon. So it's been a while since my last video, and I've been pondering making a video about this, but, uh, um, you know, it's, it's kind of affected me. Don't mind this. This is a little glue because um, I was crafting one of these days, well, actually months ago, and this uh, doesn't... Uh, it's it's too strong for fabric, so if I removed it, it would damage the fabric. So, um, what I wanted to uh, talk about, and uh, I've been pondering whether I do it or not, because um, something that really got to my mind... Uh, there's uh, something I'm, someone I'm not going to mention who is on uh, Twitter that I actually really admired. She is really smart, and I kind of looked up to her, even though she's younger than me. Um, she writes about cert certain issues, you know, problems with uh, Islam and the world, you know, the Western how the Western world is uh, kind of collapsing. And uh, she she seemed like a smart person. And uh, I still admire her because she is smart, but I think she kind of got uh, lost. And uh, the reason why I'm disappointed is um, she was... Um, considering converting to Judaism and uh, she was she considered it for quite a while and um, so um, she she it's like uh, the reason it's affecting me so much is because um, okay. So she is converting to, she was converting to Judaism, and um, I'd expect that someone who is converting to Judaism is aware of the Torah and studies, uh, you know, the scriptures quite, you know, avidly and is doing so for the right reasons. But... Uh, then a couple of weeks ago, out of the blue, she decided to convert to Catholicism. Now, I think I could um, somehow it affects me because I, I thought that uh, what if out of the blue I just uh, go crazy and uh, decide this is not the right path for me, but... Uh, I know it's different because uh, I kind of always negated um, the New Testament and so that's not going to happen to me but I think the, the main problem is that I always considered her smart and uh, I, I didn't expect her to fall for Christian propaganda and um, so it was quite hard to see her go in that direction because uh, I don't understand how someone who studies the Tanakh and, uh, you know, to be pondering converting to Judaism, someone has to be serious. And uh, if someone is studying the Torah, there is no room to then, out of the blue, becoming a Christian. It doesn't make any sense. Um, especially because um, the reason why I became agnostic so long ago was because I couldn't conciliate the New Testament and Old Testament. To me, they were contradictory, and I couldn't accept the New Testament. So I had two choices. I either, actually, I had three choices, but at the time, I didn't know, because my mother said that if I don't worship Jesus, 
that I'm blaspheming and I don't believe in God for real. And so I had two choices, either live with the cognitive dissonance of accepting that the New Testament is a continuation of the Old Testament or go atheist or uh, because um, I think I never was truly an atheist. It was just that uh, my mother told me that uh, if I didn't believe in Jesus, I was not. I didn't believe in God. And maybe that got to my head and I started believing that I was an atheist. I don't know. But at the time, those were my choices. I wasn't, you know, you have always, uh, when you're raised as a Catholic, you're taught to believe that uh, Jews are nothing but the opposition of Christianity. It's basically what you're raised to believe, and uh, that's how they view um, Jews. They view them as those that, the, those that killed Jesus and uh of course, my ideas were in line with Judaism, but I didn't have a name for that because of um, the anti-Semitism that is latent in the Catholic Church and, and, and uh, in Catholic believers. Um, so, knowing that uh, from a very young age, I was capable of knowing that uh, the New Testament was incompatible with the Old Testament, the Tanakh, actually. Uh, I did, well, the New Testament, the Old Testament actually has more books than the Tanakh, but it uh, doesn't matter. It is incompatible either way, even with uh, the extra books. So um, it was always hard to me to believe in... Uh, the New Testament, and uh, so when uh, I followed her on Twitter, I actually quite admired her. She says some smart things. She has some smart things, but it did kind of affect me a lot that she would convert to Catholicism out of the blue. You know, it took her so long to start getting involved in Judaism, and now in two weeks, she is already doing a procession, procession of faith and converting and uh, it's like it's so easy for her to become a Catholic what it's just uh, I don't know it's hard to believe because uh, uh, if she was serious about uh, converting to Judaism I mean becoming now a, a Christian Catholic. Well, she was Orthodox prior to that, but still, I think someone who genuinely considers converting to Judaism does so knowing the Bible and knowing that uh, uh, the New Testament is a distortion of the Old Testament and that their proof of Messiah are all concocted um, and manipulated uh, proofs. They take things out of context from the Bible and they use it to prove that Jesus is the Messiah. It's a cir circular logic. And um, because, uh, as a Jew, you read the Bible uh, by uh, story and you read from a beginning of a section to the end of the section, but Christians read it by passages and by subjects. They, if you try to read from cover to the end, they'll tell you that you're reading it wrong. You need to learn the Bible by subjects. Of course, by subjects, they can basically influence you into believing that, uh, I don't know, that Jacob was the Messiah, that God was uh, a human. They can basically prove anything, taking things out of context. And um, I thought she was smarter to see past um, the deceits of Catholicism. And maybe I'm disappointed because I've been through a lot in Catholic school. I, I'd... I'd um, 
I'd go to the Kitkishta and uh, I'd uh, say, you know, this doesn't make sense because here things are this way, but there they are complete, the complete opposite. And this is a negation of this. And uh, certain things that I, I, I would catch up uh, about the Christian doctrine that didn't make sense and didn't fit in with the Old Testament as Christians call it. So it bothers me that I could see things as a child and someone that I held in high esteem and believed to be very smart uh, in two weeks gets tricked and fooled by that and uh, it's uh, yeah it's complicated uh, I shouldn't be affected but you know, I kind of admired the person. I still admire her, but, um, you know, the fact that she's becoming a Catholic, you know, and, you know, after all I've been through with the Catholic Church and knowing that the Catholic Church is trying to hide the truth and manipulating people into believing in lies, I kind of feel disappointed uh, that um, someone considered converting to Judaism would fall back into the traps of Christianity. Uh, but I guess it was not meant to be and uh, still disappointing because um, they're uh, still breaking uh, no, the Noahide law, laws. You know, they may, she may not be Jewish, but, uh, you know, she is aware of the Noahide laws and uh, by becoming a Christian, she is breaking one of the most fundamental ones, uh, which is uh, do not, you know, don't be an idolater, don't uh, do idolatry. And uh, yeah, it's a little disappointing. Anyway, uh, this video wasn't supposed to be about this. I was going to talk about another subject, but... Uh, this has been on my mind lately. Um, um, it bothered me. I don't know why it bothered me, but it bothered me somehow. Because uh, I think that things are in plain sight. So easy to see. And um, I get sad when people get fooled back into... <sighs> into lies and uh, what's easy. I know it may be harder to convert to Judaism, but, you know, it's worth it, you know. If you want to be in the right path and follow God and uh, know the truth, uh, you won't go after false prophets, after people who manipulate and deceive. It's so bad, that, you know, when you read the, the Bible, and I recommend everyone to read it by themselves and not doing it as uh, Christians do, you know, and uh, if you can read Hebrew, read the Tanakh in Hebrew, and you'll see that what the Tanakh says is completely different from what Christian says uh, uh, about uh, God and the Messiah. And I really recommend that you read the Maimoni, Maimon, oh God, I can't pronounce it, proof of Messiah and see that Jesus didn't fit any of the requirements for the Messiah. And there's actually a passage in the Bible that shows that Jesus the, the traits, I'm sorry, the traits that are attributed to Jesus actually fall in line with the false prophets. Uh, so, yeah, there are several things that are easy, very easy to find and very easy to know. And uh, it said if people just bother to read, Instead of being fed um, 
lies by priests and relying on priests to teach them the scriptures and uh, if they did some self-study they would know the truth and they, they, they wouldn't be I don't know it's um, it's a little disappointing I'm not going to lie anyway I'm sorry for rambling today I hope uh, you have a great afternoon, everyone, and I wish you a good Pesach, and uh, bye. I'll be back in the next video. I don't know how soon, but uh, bye.